I was amazed. I was like, there's no way. This game is so small and like indie, there's no way. And sure enough, Twitch had a category for it, so. Sorry, I had to listen to the inspirational music. From every mountain top, let freedom reign. I always think about freedom when I see a girl who looks like she's about to put a big old butt plug in her butt. I'm like, freedom from butt plugs. So, how do I start this game? Hey, Ghost Skittles, how you doing? Freedom! <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, you can see my shitty background there. Let me open up Fraps. Do the voices? Okay, I, I, I don't remember all the voices I did before. Let's see. Where's How much room do I have on my drive? Can I save this? 54 on this drive. Okay, I think all that shit's deleted. Oh, I can delete these Kerbal Space Program ones. I don't need those. America's too good for working government? Fuck government. Alright. And without further ado, long live the queen. We're almost home. Your room is the way you left it. Ugh. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself for your 15th birthday. But I know you can do it because 15 is an appropriate age for a head of country. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. Oh, sure. Put a bunch of stress on me, Dad. This is not what Mom would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. I don't know why I want to die and leave you. But no, she probably wouldn't have. But sometimes bad things happen and we have to pick up and carry on. <laughs> You're late bloomer of 14, Dark Pumpkin. All of Nova depends on us. On you. Ugh. I'll be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. That's a weird thing to tell your daughter to do, come. Okay, I've played this before. So we need to get some skills going. Yeah, Davy, she's 14. Wait until she's at least 15 in Queen. So we're gonna work on, let's work on animal handling. Animal handling, we're gonna work with the doggies. And, um, what else should we work on? The Falcons? Falcon power! Falcor! The Falcon skills are pretty useless, though. You saw how much I put into it. We're gonna work on economics and accounting. Um, because that's exciting what 14-year-old girls love. Economics and accounting. She, needs, she does. We're gonna get some flexibility for that whore later. You visit the kennels and learn about the different breeds of dogs. See, this is the big key right here. Bonus is your mood affects how well you learn. When you're depressed, you like to learn about bitches for some reason. You brush up on basic mathematics with the help of an abacus. Uh, what's that noise outside? Who's there? Oh, it's my cousins! And my aunt and uncle. Darling, we're so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look nice, niece. Ugh. Hi, Lodi! Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yup, yeah, mommy said we'll be here all month. I need bitches I'm depressed too, Dark Pumpkin. If being depressed is a bonus, I have that bonus every day. Wah, wah, wah. Maybe. We'll have some time to talk later. Can you go away now? All right, we gotta find something fun to do. Oh, I simped out that bonus. That's a fact, baby. I'm gonna be back in just a second. Let's see, we can go visit Lady Minerva, Minerva, Lady Merva. I just started drinking, Poxy. How can I stop when I just started? The hell gets the crying level up. I love that on dates. Don't you love it when you make a lady cry? That's awkward. All right, let's go visit, let's go visit um, our cousin and our aunt. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. Mommy makes me live in a box. You should visit us, like, more often, maybe? It's awful that the only time I get to see you is, uh, something like this. Uh, I know why your brother and sister- I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school, dummy? 
My mom worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. You're kind of dumb. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. What's up with that douchery? But at least we can have fun together. Oh, she doesn't look like she's having fun at all. What's your mood? She's um, kind of depressed. Home is safe. Home is safe. Definitely safe. Let's work more on her accounting. Oh, wait. No, we should work on her agility. Someone was right. Let's work on her flexibility. Young lady should always be working on that. That's not creepy. Learn to stretch those legs. Mood not horny. Um, Let's animal handling some more with her dogs. That sounds dirty. I'm going to handle that bitch. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body. Oh, I feel like I got a fart. Then you practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints. Twisting, shifting, and rotating. Everybody, practice... Foxy's like, she's 14. Foxy, that's the perfect age for Sir Ian. I didn't realize that was Sir Ian. I was like, Who, who's Sir Ian music? <laughs> it shows how smart I am. Like, welcome to the show, Sir Ian music. Um... You learn about dog grooming and the most common diseases and injuries that dogs suffer from. Bestiality is not a skill, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the commotion outside, Father? What's going on? I've come to pay- I've come to pay my respects and honor to your mother. You have no respect or honor, it's because of you that your powers, my wife, is dead. What? I am an Illumin, and as you see, like every Illumin, I'm willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I don't know why we didn't do anything about 200 years of traitors, but still, I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That's for the Crown Princess to decide. A load of your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. You want me to let her stay? All right, we'll let her stay. Uh, I want to hear what she's got to say or something, Dad. She stays. As you wish. He's, uh, he's pussy whipped by his daughter. <laughs> That's sad. Let's see, we could go visit our annoying cousin. We could go visit, let's go visit the new weird lady. Your dad's such a bitch. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What the fuck? What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magic crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. Your, the royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king might be keeping it from you. What's the drastic measure? Do you have the crystal? Of course. She holds out her hands. Light flickers from her bosoms. I love bosom lights. Whenever it's dark, they ask a woman to take out her bosoms. And then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. I hate when ladies put sparkles on themselves and they get on you. It's just, I hate that. You reach out to touch it and it dissolves away into nothing. Give me just a second. No wonder why things are puking out. Great time for my antivirus to decide to update. Fucking shit. I don't want to do the dra drastic measures. I don't want to do the drastic measures. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. Can I kill you? You need to find the crystal that belongs inside of you. That seems hippie stupid. Alright, um. What are our skills we can work on? I think we should work more on accounting still. Oh, and more on flexibility. We need to be really flexible. Okay, flexibility. Where's economics? Do accounting. I think that seems cool. Yeah, it's uh, Dark Pumpkin, my, um... Well, the game is like that. The game is really, it kind of... I don't know why. It's the way they render it. The frame rate's really shitty on it. You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions. Ah! I'm a badass! With your legs to stretch out your limbs. You practice bouncing motions. When I have boobs, the guys are gonna love this. You, uh, with your arms and legs, you increase the muscular effect. And in the afternoon, you study the manipulation of larger quantities through direct calculations, using written numbers instead of an abacus. She's like, I'm learning. She doesn't need math. Everyone needs math. Everyone needs math. He loves me! He loves me not! 
Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess Ursula rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. That seems bad. No, not at you. At, at your feet. My feet didn't do anything. Princess, don't move! Um... I'm gonna look down. You're afraid, so you study so your father doesn't kill you. I'm gonna look down. You look down where a sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. Better than in your ass. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. I'm more manly, and the snake tenses, prepares to strike. No! My only friend! Your cousin pushes you aside, and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Oh, uh, hey, Marip. Lottie! Lottie! Too late, Juliana swings her sword and cuts the snake's heads off. Snake's head off. Instead of, like, being like, don't move, why didn't she just come in and cut the snake up? Instead of stopping and be like, don't move. Oh, it's the ant. What's going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get a herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. Jesus, is that you? We'll be returning home to Merva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk are not native to this area. That snake never should have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? Hey, I don't have enough voices for everyone. I don't know. Well, that's no good. There goes our cousin. Um... Let's see, we can go talk to our dad. Let's go talk to the Duchess Ursula, Ursula again. How do I find my lumen crystal? Your father probably knows what happened to it. Go play with your toys. I'm not a child. I'm not a child. What if he destroyed it? That can't be destroyed. He could only throw it away, but then somebody else might find it. Nah, he'll keep it safe. But if it's mine, it wouldn't matter if someone else found it. It's attuned to you, but you haven't bonded with it yet. If you find a compatible host, someone who is like you in some way, it could bond to them. That's weird. Alright, Dad, I want my damn crystal. Hi ho, everybody! Oh. Is that what you mean, Davy? <laughs> Alright, we're getting our flexibility really up there. That's good. Our economics are getting pretty good. Let's, um... Let's study some more flexibility. I, I could do a face cam, but they would cover some of this shit. We'll keep working with our flexibility and, um... Um... Let's work some more with our dog skills. Uh, where, where's that? Animal handling? Let's work with the dogs. You kneel with your hands pressed to the floor and then stretch like a cat. Me? Yeah. Rolling back and up? Oh, that must be flexibility. I thought that was working with the dog. Fuck royal demeanor. I don't want her to be a pussy. You learn the standard commands for working with trained hunting dogs and retrievers. Go get that shit, doggy. This castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and her parents gone. It's certainly not empty though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after the snake bit her. Like what's with that? But her mom said she's okay, so I guess it turned out alright. Poison failed means that she probably died and we we're just too dumb to realize that. Maybe she's got a guardian angel and she went to go see her. Um, I don't want to go play with our toys. We can go play with our toys, sneak out, walk in the gardens, attend a funeral service, visit the tomb, explore the castle, visit dungeons, attend court, or go talk to our dad. I, don't know, I think we probably should... Torment the peasants? I would like to, Eccentric. We might have a chance later on. I think we should talk to our father. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. I put it in my butthole. Can I have it? No, it smells like butt now. <laughs> but it's mine! Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but for now, you're still a child. Ah, uh, you're douche, Dad. What an ass. Is that where he keeps his car keys, too? Yeah, you don't want to borrow the car. 
Let's work on... Shit. Um... I don't know what we should work on. We should probably work some more on dogs, I guess, and maybe reflexes. So that way, like, if the dirty, nasty boy comes to us, we'll have reflexes to jump away. That's what girls really work on, right? Sense magic? I can't do that till I have lumen power, Dark uh, Pumpkin. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly. Quit touching me! In order to train you in blocking those touches. Bad touching! Bad touching! <laughs> Without triggering fear or faster breathing. You practice working with trained dogs in a small area, telling them to stay, search, and fetch. You go get that, bitch! Uh, I don't have a maid voice. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? Yeah, apparently she doesn't know anything about foreign affairs or what the hell's going on here. It's just natural, Mrith. It's just naturally dirty. No, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Talasi. They brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of, deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace! Something sparkly will, ma sparkly will make me feel better. Can I do that next time I have a lady friend who has a problem? Oh, my boyfriend left me. Oh, my family died. Have a necklace. That'll make you feel better. I'm sure that's how it works. Sparkly! Um, where's my damn crystal, Duchess? My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time. The world is filled with dangers, and you'll need the power of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you're bonded with the crystal. New words are the best. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal's probably held under God in the royal treasury. If you're the princess, you should be able to find a way inside. <laughs> you can be a douche all you want. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. I'll find another way. Alright, I'll try and get to the treasury. you only be happy when someone murders the crown princess? Captain Pete, that might happen. Most of the endings to this game are death. Speaking of which, I'm going to save it a second. Save it as chips. Everybody likes those. Alright, what skills do we need to get better? Um, pretty good at dog handling. Oh, oh. Agility? Is there porn? No, there's not. Okay, we'll get better at our reflexes. Because Falcon Power... I know, Falcon Power did not save me. Uh, I guess we'll just work on the same things we did before. You practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. You practice solo tennis, hitting your balls against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and eye to react. You can now play sports on the weekend. Falcon power! Power. You choose a young puppy and begin raising him to respond over all others. I will name you... What will I name my doggy? My doggy needs a name. Your skill in dogs is now 50. You can't raise it until you get better at handling other animals. You can call it Punch. Falcon Punch. As you're walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursa. Maybe I should go and say hello. You notice she's seated be that seated beside her is a woman in robes of a priestess. They're very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Ooh. She looks busy. She likes girls. Uh... No, Marith, uh, it, threesome is not comfortable. Let's see, so what should I do? My mood is I'm afraid, depressed, willful, and pressured. Let's see, I can play with my toys. I don't want to go to the treasury yet because I think I need more accounting power to do that. Um, somebody wanted me to play with my toys. I'll do it. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel better. I like to feel it better. Yay. Um, shit. I should probably learn some other skills. I guess we'll go with accounting and reflexes, maybe? How do I do get to reflexes? How do I do accounting economics? 
Do you have any new outfits? No. Sure, I'm queen to be and dad can't afford more than one outfit for me. What a fucking douche. You practice running at high speed. I'm running! Back and forth over a small area. <laughs> it's perfectly normal, Mirth. Making quick turns and changes of directions. Look at me! I'm a superstar! You practice tennis against multiple opponents. What a whore. Learning to judge it at a glance when the ball is too far away to reach in time. Uh, our skill and reflexes is high we can go right now. You study money lending and controversies involved in charging interest. According to the Druids, one should always return more than one is loaned, or else the debt gave no value to the world. Because you always think about Druids. When you go to a bank, you're like, are there any Druids here I can talk about with opening an account? Druids, how should I invest my money? As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen. Oh, my elegance failed. But my reflexes succeed. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Oh, yeah. I was fucking badass. <laughs> She's got event compound interest. Let's see. We're very afraid. What will make us less afraid? What will make us more angry? I don't know what makes us less afraid. That makes us more afraid makes us more angry. I think we have to get hunting. Yeah, I think we have to get hunting for that. So we'll just go play with our toys some more. Go to service? Alright, I'll go to service next time if you remind me. Um, what else should I work on? We're going to work on economics some more. We could work on... <laughs> I'll do it next time, Foxy. You're like, no, that's not fast enough. Hmm, have you beaten the game yet? Let's work on... I don't know what to work on. Dance? We're gonna need dance skills, right? Where's dance skills? Agility? Yeah. Uh, we, once we have enough economic skills, then we can go get some of that. Well, actually, I could work on um, economics and uh, production. Studying. Oh, I fucked that up with reflexes. I, I, I switched the wrong one. You learn uh, that Sunset Bay off the coast of the Duchy of Mozambique is a prime location for fishing. That's great. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crowdfunding for his project. Oh, it's okay to have weird men come talk to your young 14-year-old girl. Herpes in my pants. Oh, with his pants, I thought you meant in my pants like Bunny Suit said. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you'll have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters that can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 lassie to assemble the metal in a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. I want movable type, but she doesn't know enough. I don't know about factories or trade. Would that be worthwhile? Can you get me sparkly things instead? We're not interested, sorry. All right, that didn't work out like I hoped it would. All right, we'll go to service like Foxy wanted. Oh, wait, that does make us less afraid. Derp. <laughs> He's just like, read this. <laughs> Alright, let's look at a mood. Oh, we are less afraid. I should have worked on trade, I think, and not production. That would have helped more. Yeah, you have to have enough knowledge in some of these things to have an option. That's why you gotta work on your skill. So I'm gonna work on... Let's see, we'll work on accounting some more. I fucked up. I didn't mean to work on reflexes last time. That was a whole wasted turn because I wasn't paying attention. Let's work on medicine too. Battlefield medicine. Because you know, when you have a battle, you're going to want a 14-year-old girl there to take care of you. You never waste time learning to do the splits. Wait, did I change the wrong one again? Oh, God, I did. I did. <laughs> That was stupid. We're not going to win this one. You learned that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible. That was total fail. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget my own mother will never be coming back. 
Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixenite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. Um, I don't know anything about foreign affairs. I know there's been some problem with Ixian, but I don't know the details. I'm too busy playing with toys. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. It must be a peaceful way to settle this. I'll send diplomats from Ixian to try and come up with some arrangement. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Isn't it nice? Then you've made arrangements with him? Um, what? Your Highness, that's a courting gift. That means he wants to gain your hand in marriage. Oh, uh, I didn't realize that. I didn't know you could marry a girl by just giving her a necklace. I didn't know women were that easy. Burn the village, poison the wells, and salt the fields. But the people are our people. See, are we good enough to visit the treasury yet? Probably not. Fuck it. I hate this place. We're going to sneak out. Yeah, we're going to sneak out and have a little fun. Dad might li not like it, but he can suck a dick. <laughs> I haven't dated anyone in a long time, Foxy. In a long time. Um... Uh... Exactly. Let's study... Man, this is not going the way I wanted. It's going way too slow. Economics, accounting... There, I finally did that right. It's because I fucked up too many turns. I don't date anybody anymore, Fox. They've been single for ages. And I'm going to study... Um, we'll just double study accounting. It's kind of it's kind of like um, Princess Maker 2, only less creepy. You study bookkeeping, because that's interesting. You learn the concept of diminishing returns. It's like when you keep starting the same person in a fantasy league and it gets worse and worse and worse. The representative of Ixian is here. Be careful, no one wants to give up prizes that they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. I don't remember what's going on. Hey, loud goat. Huff, let's get this over with. Your royal highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Let bygones be guy. Bygones, no. We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. We can be good neighbors again without any lives being lost. Um... I don't... I don't... I'm not good at war. I probably shouldn't start a war. I can bluff or intimidate, which I'm not going to be any good unless it involves stretching. Look how much I can stretch! Offer him money. I think I should offer him money, Eccentric. We have no military skills. She'll be like, what's a weapon? Kill him? We're going to die if we kill him, I think. Mm. I've never offered him money before. I'm going to offer him money. That's not acceptable. All the land north of the river belongs to us. We're willing to offer some payment in exchange for the inconvenience you suffered, but nothing more. I believe we could settle the matter for 8,000 gold lassie. That's an awful lot of money. Ah, oh, whatever, take it. Very well. Negotiating like this is stressful. All right, um, yeah. Well, normally if I had military skills, I would have killed them. But then that might have started a civil war, and we have no military skills. So let's uh, let's go let's go play sports. No, we're angry and we're lonely. That'll make us more angry for some reason. <laughs> we'll go with ten services. Okay, classes. Oops, skills. I can get some military skills if you want. Okay, military, we'll go strategy. I love sports. Uh, let's also work on... I don't know, we could work on... Let's work on intrigue, I guess. Internal affairs? It, it, it's normal. You would think a 14-year-old girl should have some advisors, you know? But they're like, no, you just go figure this shit out. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown. 
That's okay, I guess. There are reports of a key thong that's been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a key thong? I don't know what a key thong is. I don't know, maybe I should know what one is, but I sure as fuck don't know what one is. A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on his back. Eek! Several disappearances in southern Caloris have already thought to be the work of this creature. What should we do? Send out hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope they return to the forest and stay there. That's our dad. Our dad, the temporary king. Well, I hope the giant monsters just get sick of eating people and leave. Problem solved. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people, dad? Everyone dies in the end. Thanks, dad. Thanks. That makes me feel good. Uh. Also, here's a letter for you! Oh, great. Talaris, Duke of Senna, will be arriving next week for an official visit. Oh, I think that's the guy who gave us the necklace. Let's see if we can go visit the treasury. You try and explain to the guards that you need to visit the treasury in order to get an accurate report on the domain's finances. They waver slightly, but in the end, they stand by your father's commands. Oh, I want that fucking jewel. Fucking dipshits. Oh, and our economic skills are done. How do I make my economic skills better? I've got to get the accounting up higher. That's not good. Um... Does the... I've never done the drastic measure. What happens, Foxy? What happens if you do the drastic measure? It, well, the, the lady's not been available for me to ask her to do it, Foxy. She's not been in the thing. I've looked for her and she's not been there. Um, we'll do military strategy, I guess. Military strategy. Military strategy. Hey, Dr. Potato. Well, she just breaks in. Are you serious, Foxy? That's it? Oh, I wish I would have listened to you earlier. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You learn about how units reinforce each other, gain strength and prox uh, as through proximity and covering of weaknesses. If she's around, I'll ask her to. Ah, your highness, what a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted my humble offering, a jewel for a jewel, but you are more precious. I hope that this is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring stability to both of our people. Yeah, he wants a 14-year-old girl. That seems normal. He really does want to marry me. Yeah, um... I don't think we should say yes to that myself. You know what, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go top off my drink. I'll let you guys all decide and they'll be right back. Yeah, you knew he was a pedo. <laughs> Look, that guy looks like a pedo to me. All right, I, I will, I'll be right back. Give me a minute. Sorry, pervert, no. I need to let him down gently. I'm not marrying you, I'm only 14! That may not have been gentle. I, I see. I regret the misunderstanding. See, Foxy, the uh, other lady isn't here, though. Oh, what I miss about Sailor Moon? 
Um, yeah, I don't want to have babies with that guy. That guy's creepy. Let's, uh, let's go visit the court. Sitting on court sessions isn't fun, but it pleases your father. It's a big dick, Marith. Um. Well, we can just get our accounting stuff up there. So we can get that damn thing. Economics, trade. <clears throat> Economics, trade. Um, I think I... Um, it's for sale. It recently got greenlit on Steam. It's not actually out, out on Steam yet, I don't think. But you can get it directly from their site. You learn the smallest village of says the central market. Blah, blah, blah. And you learn that individual peddlers travel between villages. She's always depressed. Aren't little girls always depressed? Your request is a stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. That seems very appropriate. Well, you murdered someone. Let's let my 14-year-old daughter decide your fate. Your Highness, this slattern dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Coruscant, the Duchess of Mead. Yeah, I bought it this week. It's a uh, there's not a lot of replayability, but there are uh, there's a little bit of replayability. Not a huge amount, but there's a lot of different ways to die. Is she all right? She's unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's just as it is. Them devils, they killed me brother and broke me mom's heart. Lied to her, they did. When she went to see why they'd not come back, she'd gone for a soldier when she... He never would. He weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. Justice is failing to kill the people you want to kill? All right. Do or do not. You see? She's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know about this. Either way, murder is like a serious crime or something. Hey, Prime, how you doing? So I can put her to work, I can imprison her, or I can execute her. Anybody got a suggestion? <laughs> uh... No, it's not a hentai game. Okay, we'll imprison her. You've tried to murder a noble of my domain or something, and I have no reason to believe you want to do it again. You're going to be in prison for the rest of your life, bitch. You not have me! All of a sudden, she breaks loose from the guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you're unarmed, but you grope. Oh, I like to grope. For a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament, which you hurl in her direction. Suck ornament. Your missile flies wide of the mark. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Clean that up. Ugh. Justice has been served. Okay, that seemed to be a failure, more or less. Wait, who said what now, Foxy? Um, let's go back to court. We'll learn more about court, so we're pretty sure for the future. Okay, skills. Let's get our production up. Economics production. Economics production. Will that be enough? I think so. How the fuck do I get out of here? You learn how farmers in the Duchy of Marie rotate crops. Great, that's exciting. Ooh, I unlocked a new outfit! I can't wait to wear that. You learn that most of the domain's iron is mined in Sudbury. Wait, isn't that in England? <laughs> As you are walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single... Dry leaf flutters in his talons. That's funny. I thought owls were nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. If you had falcon power, I will as soon as I get a chance. You're like, put clothes on that. This what? You return to the castle. Your idiot father's waiting for you. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I've come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Uh, putting all those sick people together, wouldn't, wouldn't that make them die even faster? Ugh. Fuck hospitals. That's for ugly people. We're not interested. Alright. 
Well, she wasn't smart enough to build a hospital to help people. <laughs> She's like, no, hospitals are bad. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's go visit the court again. Okay, put on my new outfit. I can't believe I'm playing a game wrapped in an outfit. Sexy! This is how you know economics. Next time I'm gonna visit the Treasury Foxy. Yeah, see? Ooh, now we're better at economics. So next time we can, we're going to study accounting once though, and then we need to study something else. No monocle? <laughs> um, expression maybe? I don't know. Hey, why don't we do expression? That sounds like fun. So should we work on decoration, instrument, or voice? Probably not decoration. I'm not gonna be like, look, I made some flowers and put them in a thing. She can get... Instrument? All right, she can learn an instrument. <laughs> Y'all like work my instrument. <laughs> you study taxation. You learn how past monarchs demanded too much and drove peasants into ruin to collect it. You tap out chiming dyads on a glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. What's the Paul Rodenberg way? Just playing power chord Z prime? <laughs> Simple power chords. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you'd be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you're not yet crowned, it's not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. She shouldn't be exposed, period. She's 14. What do you mean, not safe? Do you like my top hat, Dad? Outside of the castle, you're less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now. Decide later. Here's the letter for you as well. Dad always does something terrible happened. Everybody got their heads cut off. Oh, here's the letter I found. It's from Brioni. She went. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother's the Duchess of Mead. <laughs> she's complaining that it's it's because of the way the game is uh, programmed. It, it was like that too when I did the um, the ones for YouTube. She's complaining that her mother won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Ke Kevin Kevon has been acting strangely lately and shouting at Shadows. Fuck you, Shadows! Fuck you! She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest to her. Um, alright, now I'll try and go to the treasury. You overwhelm the guards with facts and figures explaining that you need treasury access to adjust the royal budget, which may affect your pay their pay packets as well as taxes assessed on their friends and family. They stand aside. Uh, I might put it on uh, YouTube. I don't know you, Prime. That's why I'm recording, just in case. If I run out of room, I'm not going to. The glitter is dazzling, but some sixth sense draws you towards one little locked box in particular. This is what you need. This is the crystal that will make you a lumen. You tuck the box into your pocket. You can show it to your mentor later and get instructions on what to do next. Okay, so we can't technically do anything with it yet. Um, I'm not recording the chat there, you prime. You'd see it if I was. Oops, not change outfit. So let's... What should we study now? What's wrong with pink hair? Pink hair's cute. I used to date someone who had pink hair. Um... People know I'm talking to you, Marissa, because they'll listen to this and be like, Oh, falcons! You really want me to study falcons? Fine, alright, we'll study falcons. Let's see, animal handling. Falcon power! Um, let's see, what else? Er, let's study, let's study her voice. She's depressed. Um, so would that be up here? Expression, voice. You practice deep breathing exercises to build your ability to sustain a note. You visit the muse and learn the different kinds of trainable birds, falcons, to prefer nesting sites, behavior, and food. Everyone loves falcons. Today is the procession and planting for the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. I should have saved it. 
The people will recover from disappointment if we lose you. There's no recovery. I'm gonna go parade and... Should I make a speech or just leave the parade? You can never have enough falcons, Dr. Potato. Never have enough falcons. She can't speak? I have a dream means we need to give a speech. I have a dream someday people will all have smarkly things in this country. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. That's true bravery, not being afraid to lead a parade. My little girl. <laughs> you prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. At the end of the route, I failed decoration and elegance. At the end of the route, you helped the priestesses turn over some earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence. Shut the fuck up! So you can speak. Unfortunately, all the words you plan go out of your head when you're faced with the moment. Aww. You manage a few polite sayings about the meaning of the holidays and falcons and thank everyone for attending. They turn away, your cheeks red. Fail. The procession regroups to the return to the castle. Okay, now we can talk to this douche. I got it! What do I do now? Pick up the crystal with your bang hands. Press it against your boobies over your heart and say illuminate! I don't know. Maybe she got busy. I'm going to do it. Okay, here we go. Illuminate! I gave the sound effect because the game doesn't really have it. Look, I'm doing it! I have crystal powers. A 14-year-old with the crystal powers. Great. You feel dizzy and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystals disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Does that mean it's in my vagina? Wow! The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in faith and train you to use your powers. There, now we can use the magic skills. Oh, she's not happy. She's feeling really pressured. Now we can see we can go down here and use lumens and do magic. So we can go to wield magic and sense magic. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, she is, Foxy. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. I feel it in me. Pressure in the badge. You learn to summon a small glowing light, which you can then move around independently. You could buy a flashlight and do the same thing, but whatever. Isn't constipated the same? Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Go! You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Oh, I'm the prettiest princess ever! The Duke of Clitoris. <laughs> all around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. No, I, I hope she didn't gulp semen. That would be gross. Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes, I failed at everything. Makes you want to run away and hide. After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance for us. He gently, he guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. It's the frame rate. It kind of got fucked up, too, because my stupid antivirus... Uh, I need to reboot the whole system because it updated in the middle of the fucking stream. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eyes. The Duke of Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may be dancing until you do. You pick whoever you want. You can pick whomever you want and will not be denied. Um, so I can date, I can uh, dance with someone my age, somebody older, somebody younger, somebody already married, someone scandalous. Now, I've already done scandalous before. So then you date with, um, dance with pedal, no, th then you date with, the, I think, the lady, the, the lady, young and impressive? Okay, we'll date with someone younger. Married too late. You, you may be too young to hold a title in your own right, but you're not the youngest noble present. That honor falls a to a dare. The young lord of the laugh, who is only 12 and a head shorter than you are. Next to him, you look positively adult. 
He looks absolutely terrified at the prospect of having to dance with a girl. But the little lord is too well bred to refuse you. Still, you have to be careful not to step on him. Wait a second, I'm gonna kill the recording. See if that makes it any better. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move's a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when you trip over your own feet. I can blame that little kid. Between the dances, there's time for the guests to mingle chat and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. I like food that's exquisite. I'm not going to kick that kid down the stairs. Oh, I'm touching mommy. During alone the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom guide us through difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenelle, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, who only months older than you, uh, and due to finally inherit her duchy soon. I read like three of the words. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilla, and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school in the absolute terror of the ball fields. No, Brioni. She said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here dancing together, the Duke concert clutching, clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? I thought they died in the snake fight. Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It'd be scandalous if they hadn't come. Merva being so close by. Of course, fuck twice a week, do they? It's nice to be able to enjoy front time with friends and family, isn't it? Since I failed at sense magic, I'd probably miss something. Well, that was interesting. Um... After all that shit, I'm escaping. I'm sneaking out. Fuck this shit. There. Much better. There, now she's not depressed anymore. Now she's willful. I'm gonna work more on her magic shit, I think. Maybe resist magic? Every unicorn is male? Are they? How do they make baby unicorns, then? You practice using a small amount of magic and feeling that power inside yourself. I'm feeling it in me. That feels dirty. You increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it difficult for mind affecting magic to twist your reactions. Ducks are always perverts. That's why they have watertight assholes. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You move in with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You're too kind, Jocelyn! Countess Sarah, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to ever been your friend. And you're not, not all that old as noble women go. Because it makes her look awesome. Your friend Foxy told me how to put that outfit on her. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. No! How dare she make a move on your father! I'm gonna trip her as she passes. Fuck her. You wait until the Countess gets closer, then hook your foot around her to make her stumble. She trips, yeah, over you falling to the floor. Ow. Are you both alright? I'm fine, Dad. She picks herself up and glares at you before forcing a smile onto her face. I think, uh, perhaps I should go and sit down. You can't be too careful. I will wreck you, Saren. Get away from my dad. I have not, E-Prime. When she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. I need Punani, too. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Saren. You need the goodwill of your nobles, your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far, Dad. Many dark looks were aimed at your way at the gala. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I paid attention to what's around me. Apparently not. Um, we're gonna sneak out again. Fuck you, Dad. I'm leaving the room. Sneak out of the castle to have some fun. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna save it a second. Um...
You've been drinking? Well, Foxy, if you're drinking, aren't you gonna tell everyone you love everyone? When you drink, you all of a sudden love everybody. We're gonna work more on our magic shit. How often do I watch Born? I don't watch Born very often. I've seen a kid be born once. That's enough for me. That's really... Once you see a sh kid shot through someone's vagina, you're like, oh god, I'm turned off of sex for a bit. That's weird. You learn to consciously project a magical field through your thoughts. Magic power! You learn to cast rays of white light that can banish shadows and blind your opponents. You're blinded, whore cakes! You've unlocked a new outfit. Yay! More outfits. It's time. It's the time of year to decide in the necessary adjustments to the royal budget. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Were you at the last one when I live streamed uh, The Sims? The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there's always some room for discretion. Yay, accounting success! See, it's a good thing she studied. A uh, I don't think there's a dominatrix uh, outfit in this Dr. Potato. See, I should do Princess Maker 2. People have asked me to, because that one's kind of creepy. And Princess Maker 2 has got, like, 70 different endings. And one of them is, like, you can become a prostitute. I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to play that game. Uh, based on the records and notes of current expenditures, if you maintain the current tax rate, you will still have 1,995 gold lassie and 36 silver to lassie available for special projects. If you lower the taxes, you'll lose some of the money because it will go to pay existing costs. If you raise taxes, you should have more. I don't think there's... Eprem, I don't think this is that kind of game. The, the, the prostitute ending is not this game, Foxy. I'd have to play the other one. I'm going to raise taxes because fuck the pe peasants. We need more money for more smarkly things. Thanks. Long live the hoe. Yeah, yeah, and I can do it. If we adjust this here and here, most people are too dumb to even notice. And only the ones who can afford it will pay more. As you wish. Dad, you're too dumb. You don't even know taxes or depreciation. What an idiot. Dad's stupid. Um. Yeah, bitch-ass peasants. Uh, what are we gonna... What should we do? We're already super willful. Let's go play. No, we don't need to be angrier. I, know, I guess we'll play with toys. You spend the weekend holed up in your room playing with your toys. <laughs> Centric's like, I know it is weird, Eccentric. She's like, movable type? What? No. Hospitals, no. But she's like, no, but the tax rate, that I know. That I know. She's very willful. And look, she's in a better mood. I'm surprised nobody said put on her new outfit. There, E-Prime, that's about the sexiest kind of outfit you're going to get. It's kind of creepy still. If Serene's still here. He's like, I need a screen cap of that. He's like, I'm going to have that forever. So I'm going to just study more of our magical shit. Because I, I haven't done that all the way yet, really. Oh my. Foxy got all George to on us. <laughs> Your mentor summons up magical energies to strike the nearby ground so you can learn to sense someone else's in spells. You close your eyes and call out when you detect your mentor casting a silent spell behind you. I can tell you farted! Falcor! We're not studying falcons this time, unfortunately. You learn to create tiny discs of solid light which you can fly around through the air and cut into targets. Wow. That seems bad. You request to, st you request to stand judgment. A man has been convicted of murder by strangling his wife. Felcor? Well, I was thinking more of what is that stupid, dumbass, never-ending story. I hate that movie. He does not deny the act, but requests the pardon that he might set free. There's a really funny video on YouTube about Felcor with M Wendy McCollum in it. Like, that she fucked him. I don't know if you can find it. I don't have it handy, but it's pretty cool. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty! It wasn't my fault! Demons made me do it! Everyone knows the power of magical beasties! They used me! They twisted my fingers into chains! My wife found me screaming! She tried to shake me! The chains wrapped around her! Sounds legit! I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again! Take a bath. I do feel some kind of magic around him. Is it possible he's telling the truth? I've never seen that before. Um, I don't care if he's telling the truth. I'm not going to pardon him. 
We either need to imprison him or execute him. I don't think there's like, like you can't just kill your wife and say demons get away with it. Kill the witch? Alright. I don't care whether there are demons or not, you're still a murderer, your life's forfeit. Do I look pretty with my bows? Cut that fucker. You'll be hanged in the public as the deterrent to future demon people. His mouth opens to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. Demons seem to take it very well. Um, well, what the fuck do we do now? Are we angry? Not really. Uh, let's go to the garden. A walk in the air helps you feel better about shit. I'm gonna just keep working on magic. Hey, take it easy, Marath. Thanks for coming by. I'm too goddamn willful. Fuck no. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm my own princess. I'm my own princess. Nobody tells me how to live. That is a rather revealing magical outfit. I don't know how that outfit helps you do magic. You learn to detect ongoing enchantments. You learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical signatures. You learn to consciously project a magical shield around your body, blocking intrusion. So people can't touch you? You gain resistance against heat and cold. You have a nurse fetish? Well, congrats. You received word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sent to be executed. He was led to the platform. He suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. Oh. I guess he did have demons. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents in dark rituals. I don't want an enema, Foxy. I bet E-Prime does, though. You go, demon girl. <laughs> you go with your bad demon self. After all that, I think I'm going to go play with toys. That's the only way to deal with it. After you hear about a demon guy running around killing people, you really got to go to your room and just play with your toys for a while. We're getting to be a powerful magician, though. Our lumens are going way up. I don't know exactly how we're going to use that, but... I want to be the very best. The best there ever was. You expand your magical perceptions to give you an idea of how to detect or where to detect spells from. You learn the latent power that signifies a lumen, even when they're not doing magic. You expand your senses. You learn how to quickly flare magical shields around you. You learn how to maintain a low-level deflection spell. You learn how to directly counter offensive magic. I'm going to be a powerful warlock and shoot people in their wieners and shit with my magic. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan, and Duke Regent of Elath has passed away. This really isn't a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. With the control of Elath and Dalt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Why can't the king make any of his own decisions? I swear. Everything is like, I'm too stupid. Can my little girl make him for me? Lord Adair will not... Hey, Adair is the guy we danced with. Will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Rise, the Duchess of Lilas, petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire eastern border? I don't know anything about history. I don't really know anything bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar. You might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. He does look like he's a little trash. He's got kind of big, dilated pupils. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adar are both young, not too far apart in age. He requests that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. Um, I'm not going to send him to his grandfather because I did that in the LP on YouTube and he died. He was murdered. So I could marry him. Send him to your uncle. Marry him? Marry him's the keep him one. I did dance with him. Okay, I'll, I'll marry him. Okay, I'll marry him. I'm 14, he's younger than me, it's gonna work. It's just like Star Wars Episode One. Take it easy, Duddy. At least that way I won't get stuck with an old man. You can't actually marry him until he's old enough. Top Robin the Cradle, daughter. But you'll be brought here to live as your companion. <laughs> sweet, I'm gonna get that young, sweet dick. 
right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak out again. We can play doctor. I'll be like, it's time for your anal exam. She'll be like, I don't like this marriage. I'm like, I don't like this marriage at all. Oh, that poor kid. Um. Oh, we, we got... Okay, but we're going to work a little bit more on the magic. We're pretty much there. We'll get resist all the way up and we'll get wheeled up. I think that's pretty badass. Pedals the two-way street. Apparently it is for her. So she's, she's got that look on her face when she goes in the 12 years old room. I'm going to marry you. <sighs> Remember when we danced and we fell down? You're mine, boy. Your skill in magic power gives you innate resistance to mind affecting magic. Your understanding of the flow of power gives you an increased resistance to damage caused by magic. You have nothing more to learn about resist magic. You learn to wield, uh, create a blade of solid light, which you can wield like a sword. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through the end of the staff. By concentrating, you create a wave of discontent. Uh, you can make people panic and have unhappiness. There's a woman here to see you. She's a musician and wishes crown patronage. So basically, her magic powers can make people uncomfortable. So she can just talk about her 12-year-old husband. Ah, uh, this person wants money. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I've dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the loop. And since you don't understand music worth a shit, you think it's good. She's actually awesome! Um, I'm gonna... Should be able to wield the shorts? I see your shorts is as big as mine, but you know how to use it. Should I accept the fucking musician or reject it? Spy? So you're saying reject it, Dr. Potato? But she's gonna sing songs about me! Alright. I'll be reject you. Thank you, but we're not interested. Go to another castle. Um, maybe we are a little too willful. She gives you po the poison? I th Did she, Dr. Potato? I thought, uh... Okay. I thought it was someone else that did. Um, let's go attend court. We're getting pretty kick-ass, though. Oh man, our magic skills are almost... We'll get wield magic pumped up. And then... Um... I don't know what else to work on. I'm not working on the fucking falcon! The falcon's useless, Foxy. I love the falcon, but fortunately the people who made the game didn't really put a lot in for the falcon. Sword, sword's just isn't going to help us a lot either. We're going to work on archery. I'll work on archery. I've never done that before. Let's see, so which which one did I need? Wield magic. So it'd be up here. What is it, athletics? Mil no weapons. Okay, we'll try archery. I've never done archery before. You learn how to twist and wax bowstring with a variety of fi fibers. You learn to shape light into images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. You're like, I made a... Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh, that thing that Harry Potter makes. You learned... You have nothing more to learn about wield magic. You learned it all. How is the dare settling into life at the castle? I found him in the garden trying to catch frogs. Uh, my husband's stupid. So I showed him a few tricks. Oh, great. That's weird and creepy. I'm sure you'll work things out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Our first date is catching frogs? It's kind of sweet. It's better love life than I have. Um. Let's go visit the dungeons. We've not done that before, have we? You sneak a peek at the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Can I burn them with fire? I'm not going to study falcons. I think we have enough falcons. I'm actually... I'm honestly surprised. I'm going to save in a second. 
I'm honestly surprised we've not died yet. I really thought we might die by this moment. Forced labor? I don't... I don't... Um... Yeah, falcon power. You can study falcons here in animal handling. Man, the audio is... Fucked. Let's see. I want to... Navy? Uh, okay, I can do Navy. Let's see. Military intelligence. Navy. What was the other one? Intrigue? Foreign intelligence? I don't think that's going to help us a lot, but I can do that. Sense magic? Okay, I'll do sense magic next time. The current Duke of Sedna is a 26-year-old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage. Sorry, I've already got a 12-year-old husband. You learn that the sea is not something you hold. It's something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures you travel your free travel while denying it to your enemies. Uh, staring up into the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star! Pretty! Yeah, I don't realize it means anything. Which giants? The, uh, the football giants or the... Uh... San Francisco Giants. Um, what haven't we done yet? We've gone to the gardens, we've gone to the treasury. I think we've actually... Oh, we haven't explored the castle. You wander through parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find nothing except spider webs. Yuck! Okay, so what do you want me to work on? Sense magic? Well, we have sense magic maxed out, Foxy. No, you don't want the Red Sox to win, Foxy. You want the Tigers to win. Yeah, the Giants are having a rough time. Um, I really... Maybe we'll work on... Yeah, go Tigers! Man, those games have been so tight. They've been too close. Hopefully the Tigers come back in Game 6. Um, let's... I guess let's work on intrigue, internal affairs, and economics, trade. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and asked your mother to the title. Nobody cares about that. Most important trade route. Oh, trade routes, that's so fucking exciting. <laughs> Everyone wants to say that. I have unpleasant news to report. Do you, Dad? Talaris, Duke of Sedna, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions at the Elath border. Well, that's the guy that we wouldn't marry. Business is disrupted and there are growing shortages of supplies. Um, we're going to send some emergency aid. Then the royal treasury will pay to keep the people fed just because I didn't marry that idiot. Very well. Um, let's go play with our toys. Oh, she's happy for once. She's finally happy. It's about time. $5? You're like, I'll pay $5 to see a literal asshole? Ew. Um, this will work more on economics. Economics, and we'll work on, here, we'll work on Falcon. Falcon power! Just for Foxy, because she's like, she wanted to see it. You learn about the fragility of hunting birds and the years of training necessary to develop mastery. You learn about the hood and jacket. Ooh, sexy. You learn more about seaports and shit. That's exactly what it said there. My lady, here are letters for you. Another letter from Brioni? Why does she keep writing me? We never were even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and looking forward to seeing me at Gwenel's birthday party? That's right, Gwenel's about to turn 15. She'll be the Duchess of Sudbury's for reals now, yo. This other letter must be my, her, my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwendolyn and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Um, should I go to the birthday party? It might kill me, but...
motherfucker. Don't go. Why? Well, I wanted to. Don't. Let's see. I see two don't goes and one go. So that's leaning for don't go. Go, pussy. <laughs> Bob's like, you won't. You're just trying to use reverse psychology. You're trying to goad me into it. I'm going to the party. Bob, I'm like Marty McFly. Bob was trying to call me chicken. It'll be good to see my friends. Um, we're gonna sneak out. Let's see. Oh, let's see. We look happy. She's finally glad. Let's see. Um, we gotta work on our dancing if we're going to a party, everybody. Where's my agility? Dancing? I'm gonna be the best dancer ever at the party. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. You practice walking on the arm of a partner. That's still weird to me. Archery? No, I'm going to go dance at a party and be a pretty princess. Ooh, I unlocked a new outfit. Oh, I want to put it on before I go. Oh, it's the tutu. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by band-aids. Band-aids? Bandits. You look out, look down in shock at the arrow which has buried itself in your side. Outside, you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. Bob, you wanted me to go. This is your fault, Bob. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it out. So you heard a story somewhere about pushing arrows through the body, so you brace yourself and give it a shove. Unfortunately, it only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. See, Bob? This is what happens when I listen to you. <coughs> you were right, Foxy. I wasn't going to go, but Bob told me I... Bob, like, called me chicken, so I had to. There you go. Dead with an arrow on the side. So dead. And she was doing so good, too. Lodi did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her. Now Biff has the almanac. <laughs> Gray sports almanac. How far away was I on the... I, I think it was a while ago that I saved it, though. Let's see. Let's see, where was I skills-wise? Okay, archery. Archery. This is, can't be too many turns ago that I was at. Yeah, I know it's a strange light, blah, blah, blah. Practice. Uh, classes. We'll do archery again. Yeah, I know, I've done field medic before, but... I want to show you what, see what happens with archery. I've never done the archery thing before. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Send emergency aid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, play my toys. All right, I'll study fucking battlefield medicine. Where's medicine? Battlefield medicine. Battlefield medicine. Hey, Snowy Panda! Just missed me dying. You learn about blood loss. You learn about minor burns. Ooh, I'll give you a minor burn. My lady, these letters are for you. Another letter from Brioni. Does she ever shut the fuck up? She says she's bored. Well, she should get over it. Oh, you pl did you play the game too? Did you record it, Snowy Panda? Did you LP it? Because if you did, I'll watch it. That's right. Gwenel is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for reals now. This letter must be an invitation to the birthday celebration. We were friends. Shit, 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 bird. Um, we're going to the damn party. It'll be good to see my friends. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go play with our toys. I beat it yesterday too, but I, I'm trying to beat it a different way this time. I don't know if there are multiple ways to. I'm going to the goddamn party. I'm a pretty princess, Foxy, and I'm going to a pretty par princess party. You're not gonna stop me. I'm going to the party. I can't stop my going to the party. Alright, I'm going to study battlefield medicine again. And we're going to study, um... I don't know. <laughs> At that point, we're going to study... I'll just study battlefield medicine twice. 
You learn that soldiers shouldn't sleep in damp clothes that are on the ground. I, well, I, I had really high reflexes the first time I did it, but not this time. Let me go turn something off. You journey to on your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits. You hear a distinctive sound. Yeah, archery plus reflexes. Just in time to push yourself away from the window and avoid being shot. Whoa! Oh, I got all Matrix on it. From the screams outside, none of all of your guards have been as lucky. Your attackers scatter as soon as your forces show signs of resistance. Vanishing into the woods. It was worth it to go to a party. The rest of your trip passes without incident. But you can't ha help jumping at shadows. See, Foxy, I told you I was going to the pretty princess party. Gwendolyn's party is lovely. Not nearly as glamorous as your own upcoming birthday will be, of course. But it's still a major event on the noble social calendar. Aren't you glad you didn't listen to Foxy? Everyone who is anyone is present. Uncle Lawrence and your younger cousins are here, but Charlotte and her mother are not. Apparently Charlotte was ill. <laughs> Arise the Duchess of Little is present, but she somehow always manages to avoid talking to you when you draw near. <laughs> there are refreshments and dancers and musicians and polite conversations and one or two not polite, so polite conversations. Will not be shoved aside! Mother, it's my domain now! I need space for myself! You got your own lands to manage! Just because you're of age doesn't mean you know everything, young lady! You need my advice! This is my home, it has never been yours. Before you can back away, their gazes fall on you. They wait expectantly for you as near queen to settle the dispute. I did trip the bitch that um, was trying to get with my daddy, Snowy. Um, I don't care what anyone else says, I'm siding with the girl. You heard her, she's an adult now, she's in charge here. Thank you. Is this what your father will face upon your coronation, cast aside without a word? He's not going to like hearing that, is he? He sucks. A bit later, Brioni catches up with you. Hey, Elodie, it's wonderful that you're going to be queen now. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry about your mom. Thanks. But think of the opportunities you're going to have. You're so lucky. That's an odd way of putting it. Anyway, I was wondering, not that you're almost queen and everything, have they told you all the secrets? What secrets? Like how to get into the old palace? I've heard it's packed full of treasure. Can you avoid the Civil War, Snowy Panda? Uh, old palace? The one at Catherine Lake where the kings and queens of Nova used to live. I don't know anything about that shit. You're stupid. Oh. <laughs> she bites her lip and frowns at you. Well, never mind then. She walks away so much for wanting to talk to you. You can hold her hostage, Snowy Panda? I didn't know that! At the end of at the end, you all share a pleasant meal and prepare it of your various lands. I do Snowy Panda, I do have a question for you. Are you gonna do more of the Stronghold LP? I was watching that day that the other day and it was cracking up. I hope you do more of that. If you go with her? Alright, so let's see. What do I need to get better at? Pretty willful. Oh cool, Snowy Panda, I look forward to seeing that. Oh, I'm super lonely. I need to be less lonely. Sports will make me less lonely. Feel the thrill of competition! Oops, mood? Give me just a sec. Let's see, you're less lonely and you're a little less lonely. She's gotta be a willful bitch. I don't want her to be no little fucking pussy. She's gotta be kick ass in every way. Um, what do I need to study? Lonely like in real life? Real life is lonely. We're going to study military and naval history and military and logistics. Because she's going to be a badass. You learn that the sea is not something you hold. It's something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures your free travel will deny it for your, to your enemies. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march. Uh, the time I beat it, Snowy Panda, I destroyed his fleet at sea. This time, if I can, I want to fight him one-on-one, -on -one because I don't know what happens with that. If somebody knows, please don't ruin it. Matters have come to a crisis. Arisa, Duchess of Lula, has declared civil war. What? Uh, well, I, just, I, just, I destroyed the fleet with magic and... 
let's see. No, there was magic, and then a fleet battle, and then we summoned a Kraken, I think. No, a Kraken got released. What? Apparently, she feels that you're a weak leader unfit to be queen and has managed to sway several others to her banner. Who's against me? A number of minor earls and countesses, Duchess of Mead and Duke of Kegel. I like how the dad is like, they're fighting a civil war against you. Wait, aren't you the king right now, dad? Aren't you the king? He's like, no, 14-year-old daughter, it's against you. Not me. The situation in Hellas is hella bad, and Marie is less clear. See, good thing we're good at military. What forces can she muster, and what are we still holding? I died the first time, too. I think you saw that, though. On, you might have seen that on YouTube. We have five and a half battalions. The naval side is, of course, useless in this conflict. By my estimate, Arise can fill four and a half battalions. That's not good. It'll come down to a question of strategy. There are two ways to increase the number of soldiers you have available. You could offer part to pardon various imprisoned criminals in exchange for military service. We're going to pardon these assholes. All right, let's do it. Criminals probably already know how to fight. Very well. Forces, forces are in motion, but they'll take time to reach their peak. After that, I think some sports will make me relax. After sentencing all those people to death in war. It's time for sports! Tennis times! That was sports-tastic. I don't know, we're so good at everything. Should we get better at anything else? I, have, I don't think I've saved since before the party. Maybe I should. Maybe that's a good idea. Um, that's a good idea, Loud Goat. This is a game where you can easily get stuck and be screwed. I want to practice my singing. My Let's see, what's my mood, though? If I'm willful, I don't know if that's going to help. <laughs> well, some of them were for the LP. Let's see, expression, let's sing, and expression, let's sing. My voice is going to be beautiful. I'm American Idol. You learn the differences in resonance. Singing solves everything. You've seen my LP channel. I can't sing. I wish I could in real life. Or not my LP channel, my music channel. The negotiator for the rebels has arrived to speak to you. Daddy, not now. I'm busy singing. Surrender now and I'll be lenient. We're not here for a surrender. We're here for yours. Relinquish the authority of your throne and we will not be harmed. Or you will not be harmed. The Duchess of Reese and her family will rule Nova as regents. You will be allowed to maintain a figurehead title. Many lives will be spared, and your domain will continue to the future in safer, wiser hands. Fuck surrender. I am not going to surrender. Yeah, no. I am queen. Well, I will be. When I'm 15. Meet my 12-year-old husband. Since we cannot come to an agreement, we will meet you on the battlefield. Fine. I didn't know that, Snowy Panda. Oh, I hope you do an LP of it. I want to see some of the stuff I haven't done. Alright, we're probably a little too willful. Let's go visit the... Um... Uh, we're gonna go visit the tomb. Let's go visit our mom. Mommy, I miss you. Foxy says I dress like a slut. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm gonna work more on singing. And playing my instrument. Sneak out? Oh, I should have snuck out. I'll do that next time if I think about it. You learn to play notes and scales on a simple wooden recorder. It's too bad I don't have one here. I have my guitar. You learn soul fa, soul fucking you. Alright, we're good at singing now. Well, I don't know about good at singing, but... War rages for control of Nova. As defending queen, you were required to take personal control of your forces. Your control of magic enhances your claim to divine right of rulership. Yeah, your lumen powers cause chaos among your enemies with explosive displays of, and waves of terror. You lack the strength to take on a whole army by yourself, of course, but they don't need to know that. Fuck yeah! Battles are won and lost. Fallen soldiers decorate the landscape. The final outcome is victory! Booyah! That's right, Dr. Potato. You're forced to sweep through the rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local populace. Arise, their ringleader, is executed. And the other rebels forced to pay tribute to keep their holdings. Suck it. Of course, there's the cost paid in lives. Rebel lives. Your medical training helped you preserve the lives of some of your wounded soldiers and their captive foes as well. Well, that's cool. I didn't... That's cool. 
Total casualties were half of a battalion on your side and three and a half battalions among the rebels. That's the best I've ever done with that. Thank you for the people like Fox who told me to do the military medical shit. Of course, there are no rebel soldiers now. They are once more your loyal subjects. See, medicine works. Foxy's like, see, I told you. Um, all right, I'm gonna sneak out. Fuck you, Dad. I'm gonna go where I want to. Let's see our skills. We're doing all right. Um. Let me think a second. I could build up the military ones some more. I guess so, I don't know. I'd... Yeah, I really don't know what to build up. Do you poison? Okay. Uh, what is that, medicine, poison? Should I do once? Do it twice? I've never done poison before, actually. Oh, I won't. I won't die by chocolate, Snowy Panda. I got my dog. My dog will find it. Is that why I had to do poisons? Because otherwise, I'll do something else. Because I got a dog. My dog will protect me from the poisons. Um. So I will do something else then. I will do. Let's do naval strategy. Military naval strategy and military logistics. She's willful, so she'll be good at those. That's like the only bonus I really know. You study different ships, their names? That's a dreadnought. You study equipment of soldiers? You've unlocked a new outfit. Oh, I want to see that. Oh, I know what one it is. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on the edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea. Knights jousting, musicians, all sort of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What we offer is prizes to the winners. Um, what would be a good prize for the winner? I'm not going to give them employment because normally I do. <laughs> normally I give them employment. I guess I can do employment again. I'll do employment. The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's the recruitment drive. You get a job. Very well, I'll draft the announcements. That's all you're good for, Dad. That's all you're good for. You move through the hall, your eyes fall upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves of one in blossom have shriveled. Someone on the hall duty is being lazy. These flowers should be replaced. You continue up the stairs to your room where a maid is waiting for you. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kegel. From the Duke? No, from a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Caval River. You tear open the brightly colored paper to find... Chocolates! Chocolate producers in Kegel usually ship goods down the Napa River through Ursa, not straight to the capital. This merchant house probably specializes in something else and only traded for chocolate. There's a little card with the box. With our compliments, the house is a crawl at. All of a sudden, your puppy, who is usually so well behaved, growls at the box of chocolates and lunges at it. Bad dog, chocolates isn't good for you. Silly thing making such a fuss. First time I died was chocolates, too. We're gonna save our candy for later. I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. <laughs> I'm not gonna feed it to the dog, Dr. Potato MD. That's sad and mean. Um, we're still lonely. Let's uh, do sports. That'll make us less lonely. I'm gonna save it a second though after that. Let's see, we'll save it on that. Um. I'm just gonna max out, I guess, some of our military stuff. You learn the requirements for civilized sailors to rescue the crew of a sinking ship. You study the coast, cost and time. Apparently I don't know how to read. <laughs> it's just cat turds. Dogs eat them all the time. You eat weird chocolates, loud goats. That's not a chocolate. That reminds me of, um... What is it? Is it Caddyshack with the baby Ruth in the pool? The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it would expose you to danger. Do you wish to partake in it? Um, we're not good at any of those. We're not really good at riding stuff. We're not good at fencing. 
We have a little bit of archery skill, a little bit of music skill, a little bit of falconry skill. But I've already done falconry. So should I do music? Okay, Davy. Music. You take your place in line for a bardic contest. You aren't trained in any instruments that's appropriate for setting, so you have to sing a cappella. You don't embarrass yourself, but your song won't be remembered as the highlight of the day either. Hey, not so bad. All the winners are announced and displayed to great cheers. As near queen, you place flower garlands around their necks. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. It's Kivan, the Earl of Io. In one hand, he carries an armored gauntlet, and the other a sword. My family's blood is on your hands! Arisi, the ring leader of the rebellion, she was his mother. He casts the metal glove to the ground with a clatter and raises the sword, pointing at you. Snowy Pan! <laughs> Snowy Pan is like, burn him! I challenge you, Lodi, a life for a life! He's challenging you to a duel. He doesn't know you could burn him to a crisp just by waving your hand. Well, I was going to refuse, but Snowy Panda did suggest I burn him, so I'm going to kill him with magic. Without further word, you direct the full force of your magical wrath at the Earl of I.R. There is a horrible scream and the smell of burning flesh. I decline. He's like, ah! You lose. Kevin's sword falls to the ground besides his gauntlet. He won't be needing either anymore. Barbecue time. Smells like burned loser. After the tournament, a minor tragedy is revealed. One of the stewards apparently had an incredible sweet tooth and dealed, or dared to steal a piece of your recently received chocolates. He had a sweet tooth. The chocolates were poison. That's what the asshole gets for stealing my food. When you ask questions, it turns out the merchant house which supposedly sent you this present never existed. Bitchy princess. I posted that on Facebook, Snowy Panda. My Facebook account, one of my friends was like, Ooh, it's so true, you are a bitchy princess. I was like, shut up. <laughs> but it made me laugh. Someone has tried to kill you, but you don't know who. Wow, that was a lot that was a lot to have go on. That was a lot to go on. Oh, did you when did you buy it? Twice? I love the political machine. The political machine is like one or two dollars right now on Steam. It's like the cheapest I've ever seen it. It's like a dollar or two. The Political Machine 2012. I love that game. Um, Let's go visit our mom after that. Oops, that's the wrong thing. I'm wandering through the castle. Mom, where are you? This isn't where you're buried. I'm stupid. I should probably save after that, don't you think? I think I probably should. Let's see, we're still pretty willful. Let's see, we'll finish up our naval strategy. That's gonna be our backup plan just in case. Um, let's work on our instruments some more. I don't know if that really matters, but that's, it's probably too late for that actually. Charles Dick Sucker, he'll be back. Um, what the fuck is that in? Oh, wait, there it was. Instrument. He'll be back, like, uh, in a few years if they do another political machine. There. We've studied shooting cannons at sea. And you practice the recorder. Oh, I didn't put on her new outfit. That's how a lot of people found it was 2012 or 2008. Because hardly anybody did 2008. A fair amount did 2012, but... I was, like, one of the first to do 2008, oddly enough. My lady, your father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Fine, I'm coming. Your father's standing over a map of the coastline, his face grave. Ships have been sighted on approach from Shangia. Not trade ships, this is a war fleet. What? Within a week, they'll be in Novan waters. Within two, they can reach the capital. Then they'll fight to defend ourselves. I had a lot of fun doing that game. That's a fun game. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it may be difficult on short notice. We're not going to. I'm going to let them actually land. No, it's too late for that. You need to drop a naval strategy for ships to carry out. You could choose to act ad as admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. Unless you think your personal skills will make a difference, I strongly advise against it. I'm going to stay here in the capital. If this doesn't work and I die, I'll go back and do the, the naval thing. No, there's too much to do here. I can't go to sea. Um... We're going to yield. We're going to court. 
and uh, what should I work on here? I guess we're gonna work on our instruments again, and we'll work on. I don't know what's fun. A lot of these things we have negatives to. I guess we can work on public speaking. I'm not gonna do fucking decoration. That's too girly. Okay, naval. Wait, they. Oh, I. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I did naval strategy again. Danger on the high seas. Ships closing on each other, angling into range. The Sanjian forces greatly outnumber the Novans. It's unlikely to end well. If only you had more soldiers available. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. The Novan ships are sunk or scattered, and the Sanjian forces press towards landfall. Many good soldiers were lost today, and Nova's troubles have not ended. Since you've re failed to repel the invasion, the Sanjian fleet will soon land, and their troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. The remaining soldiers will hold them off as long as possible, of course, but the main strength of your military has been exhausted. Nova's future looks bl uh, bleak. I, I can't, Snowy Panda. I'm going to marry the 12-year-old boy. We're going to sneak out and be willful. Um, so... Loud Goat, the naval strategy is a backup plan. If this doesn't work, Loud Goat, what I'll do is I'll reload it and we'll win the naval battle. Because I know how to win the battle, so... But I want to do something like this, which I've not done before. I want to work on public speaking. Where the fuck's public speaking? Change outfit? Oh, I'm sorry, Foxy. If we live, I will change outfit after this. This is our magic outfit. This is the outfit we want to meet wear right now in the uh, meeting the other guy. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coast is under Sanjian control. Soldiers have marched through vi villages, trampling fields and frightening citizens. A diplomatic delegation from Sanjia has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem that you have no choice. You prepare yourself as best you can to meet with the representatives from Sanjia. You expected diplomats and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you. A man announced by your services to Gami, king of Sanjia. Is he really their king? Why would a king come here all the way? And he's a lumen too. Yay, since magic works. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So much responsibility at such a tender age. Don't pretend to be my friend while you're killing my people. Champer, champer, princess. After all, I'm here to save your people. War benefits no end, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. A contest, a game, so to speak, with Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. What sort of game? It's well known that Nova is ruled by lumens. As it happens, I too possess the power of a lumen. Castrium with magic? Fireballs! Pshaw! I propose a formal duel. My power is against yours. The winner takes control of Nova. The loser dies. Your game by your rules for my life? That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of formal dueling must have passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It's important that we do this by the ancient codes. For you ancient chodes. Why should I? If you refuse, then the war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you meet me in a formal lumen channel, Challenge, I'll call off the invasion, even if I win. Really? I swear it by the gods. Nova will be free and safe. Why take that risk? You're winning the war, douche. It's not your land. I watch this, your crystal. To gain your power, I'm we willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? I can sense his power. It's so strong. I've learned everything I possibly could, but he's at least as good as I am. I don't like this, but what choice do I have? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, oh, if someone's good at foreign intelligence. I'm going to accept his terms. Then I must. Togami explains the rules of formal dueling to you, including a carefully inscribed circle of words which will contain the effects of any powers you wield, protecting bystanders from strangers. 
Then it's time to begin. You trade attacks. One spell sense and then counted by another. Reserving your strength as much as possible. It might almost be exciting if your life wasn't on the line. You need to end this quickly before his experience allows him to come up with a trick you can't defeat. Hadouken! <laughs> He's used to dealing with magical attacks, but you might, be ex might not be expecting a physical one. Oh, I don't have any physical skills. Perhaps if you rushed him, you could take him off his guard. Up close, he couldn't use his fancy spells, but what would you do then? You still have to use magic to win. You can't just grab him and bang his head against the floor. <laughs> Why not? Abracadabra. Perhaps you could focus your power into the shape of a sword and attack him with that. Or maybe if you distract him somehow, you could cast a spell he couldn't block. Um, we're not good with swords, so I'm going to guess dazzle him. Dazzle you with my sparkliness. Oh, oh, decoration? Decoration is what you use for that? You throw out a dazzling shower of sparks. Sparkles hoping to blind him and seize the advantage. It doesn't work. Swirls of dark smoke rise from the floor at your feet, spinning around like a black hurricane. You know how you have to stop it, but how? It's all around you. There's nothing to target. Faster and faster it spins, making it hard to breathe until finally everything goes dark. Fuck. I'm guessing you have to have sword skills for the sword one. I didn't know. Fuck. Fuck. I had no idea. I had no idea. That sucks. Here, I'll show you what happens with the navy thing in a second. Um, do I have my naval strategy up all the way? No. Dr. Potato, this is a tough game. <laughs> okay, we'll do naval strategy, and then we'll do uh, intrigue, foreign intelligence. Let's see, um, what was it? Okay, naval thing. We're gonna fight to defend ourselves. I'm gonna go recruit some soldiers. Take it easy twice. Thanks for coming by. We're gonna act like Admiral. We're gonna direct the fleet. There's one more thing I hesitate to ask, but an invasion? This is a sort of disaster for which a Lumen's power may be worth the cost. If the fleet could be destroyed before they reached our waters, many lives could be saved. I don't know any magic that could sink a whole fleet. I'll have to talk to my mentor. You find the Duchess of Ursul in her guest quarters. A fleet from Sanjia is going to attack us. Is it possible to sink them with magic? It's easy enough to attack one soldier, one ship as a demonstration to obliterate an entire fleet. You would need an immense amount of power spread over a large area, more than one Lumen could control. I sadly don't have a pirate outfit. If you could... Is there swimming skills? Tell me there's not. If you could try... If you tried to raise that much power yourself, you would die. Not could, would. So it's hopeless? We'll just have to rely on our soldiers? What? Wait. What about the other... What about the other... There's another Lumen. Aw, oh, fuck. This is not gonna work out right. Because there's another Lumen. I just don't remember how you meet her. <laughs> I think I put myself in a corner. Um... Swimming. There is swimming. Is it too late for swimming? What is it in? Athletics? Outfit? It's the military outfit, Foxy. You've already seen it. Didn't you see in the, uh, the LP I did? S Snowy Panda, if you have the third lumen, you don't need to swim. But I don't remember how you get the third lumen, because there's a third lumen. Danger on the high seas. Ships close in on each other, angling in the rage. You take your position with a spyglass, watching the enemy movements closely, and shouting out any necessary chains and plan. Oh, fuck! I think the other lumen is the musician that you guys made me send away. I think that was the other lumen. The Sanjian forces greatly outnumber the Novans. This is unlikely to end well. If only you had more soldiers available. Oh, you have to go to church? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Your skill in long-range magic makes you effective as a cannon and more maneuverable, but there's still only one of you. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. The Novan ships are sunk or scattered as the Sanjian forces press towards landfall. Your own vessel is holed and left to sink. The lifeboats fall victim to flaming arrows. You and your sailors are forced to leap in the water to swim for shore. Oh, swimming so easy, even as even fun, little children can do it. It's not so much fun when you're weighed down by clothing, miles from land, surrounded by enemies. If anyone could see you clearly, they'd probably help. Your sailors would willingly risk their lives to haul you to safety. 
<laughs> and your enemies would surely love to capture you intact. But you're just one tiny figure lost in the dark sea. You struggle against the waves for as long as you can. Your limbs grow ever more heavy. And then you... i never seen that end before. That's it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I think I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I guess it's harder to win than I thought, because I won the other day when I was playing. I guess I just got lucky in some of the things. Let's see, the next turn is the, the C thing, right? Because then I'm fucked if it is. Uh, give me a second, I'll get that. Okay, let's, uh, they wanted to see the other outfit. What was the other outfit? See, that's the other outfit that Foxy wanted to see. There's the 2-2, two, two, or the, uh, I don't have the 2-2, two, two. I'm not agile enough. Um, so let's go to the title screen, is that how I get there? Checklist? Let's see, I've been queen, I've been transferred into a lumen, I've been challenged to a ghoul as a duel, <clears throat> I've not been sent flowers by a woman. Encountered a tentacle monster. Well, oh, I haven't done a lot of things. Let's see. I've taken an arrow to the gut. I let my blood run dry. I drowned at sea. I've been blasted by magic. And I've been poisoned. I haven't been killed by the sword yet. I've not blown myself up. I've not cracked my skull. I've not drained my life. Or had my life drained. I've not fallen the victim to monsters or choked on magical chains. You know the game is made that way, though, when they're like, here's a checklist of all the ways you can die. I've not faced devoted no confidence. There's a Kraken in the game. Well, I think I'm going to be done with this for now, because, like, I'd have to start all over again, because I fucked up, because I didn't go to the church thing in time or whatever. That sucks, because otherwise I could have showed you guys the ending, the good ending, but... Yeah, is that a different one than the tentacle monster? Because the Kraken, you can... Um, did you get the Kraken yet, Snowy Panda? I don't want to ruin it if you ha haven't already. I probably already have ruined it by talking about it. <laughs> what, what do you want me to play, Bob? I can't play The Sims, because I've got a video of that that i still got to post. Um... Let's see, I could maybe get out Fallout. I'd have to reset up my settings. Let's see, what else do I got? I got Fallout. There are probably a couple Scribble Knot missions I've not done. Um, the Political Machine? The Political Machine? I could do the Political... I don't know if I can run that in Windows... Let me see if I can run that in windowed mode a second. I'm sorry if, if the stream dies here. Um... <laughs> Bob, you got me killed earlier with that. <laughs> you got me killed earlier with that. Yeah, just a second. I'm, I'm loading it up a second, seeing if I can... Um... At least I'm trying to load it up. Oh, I gotta connect to Steam. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the stream and restart it a second. <laughs> 